An old boys network at Edinburgh Council contributed to the protection of a social worker at the centre of abuse allegations spanning three decades, according to an independent inquiry. Sean Bell was facing criminal charges when he was found dead last year. A subsequent report said he was a serial abuser whose behaviour had gone unchecked. Three women who were targeted by Bell called on the council to learn lessons from what they called their nightmare. Stephen Godden reports. Sean Bell was found dead at the bottom of Arthur's seat last August, weeks before he was due in court to face charges of physical and sexual abuse. He'd been a social worker for the council for more than 30 years. His suicide was the trigger for an independent inquiry that found he was a serial abuser. His behaviour, an open secret, that continued unchecked for three decades. The inquiry's conclusion was that Sean Bell had been allowed to become untouchable. Those he abused, fearful that if they spoke up they'd be discredited or wouldn't be believed. It was only when allegations were raised formally for a fifth time that police became involved. Witnesses told the inquiry that Sean Bell was protected by what they called an old boys network. In the case of one allegation of serious assault, details reached the then head of children's social work and his boss, but no action was taken. That, the report says, was a dereliction of duty by two men who've since left the council. It really does raise quite serious concerns about the culture within the council. Uh, perhaps not now, I hope, uh, although that's still something that must concern everyone, but I think definitely in the past it, it wasn't healthy and most importantly, it wasn't helping victims of abuse, survivors of abuse. Today, three women who suffered at Sean Bell's hands waived their anonymity to tell Edinburgh Council it was their fault his abuse was allowed to continue for so long. A statement from two of his former wives and his stepdaughter urging the organisation to implement every single recommendation from the report to learn lessons and never let this happen again. That, says the chief executive, is their aim with councillors due to discuss the recommendations on Thursday. Stephen Gordon, reporting Scotland, Edinburgh.